Welcome to Road Trials. A road trial is a field trial for Dalmatians, where they are tested on their ability to follow the horses. A road trial consists of five exercises, which are judged by a judge, a veterinarian score, and an endurance ride, where they follow the horse for 12 and a half or 25 miles. This is an example of the speed exercise. This is an example of the hawk with distraction. This is the hawk exercise for 200 yards. And this is a sit-stay exercise, which also can be a down-stay. These dogs are performing the recall exercise. It all can be lots of fun. Hi, my name is Peggy Ann Strepp, and this is Willie. Willie is champion Harmony Run for the Roses. Willie is four years old and has never met a horse before, but he has had basic obedience training. Willie is owned by Jan and Doug Nelson of Colorado. Willie will learn how to road trial at my house and he'll also earn his CD. <laughs>
This is a random recall. Again, he's dragging the leash so that I can correct if necessary. The dog's allowed to wander with the leash dragging, and he is told to come when he is investigating something else. This would be very similar to the type of come that you must do from horseback. Random sits and random recalls are something you should do. Here's a leash I use, a regular leather leash. A tab is a piece of rope that's knotted on one end that can be slipped through the collar. Here's a leather tab that's still attached to a regular choke collar. This is what usually I have the dog wear. This is a light line or a long line. It's a 30 to 50 foot light piece of rope with a clip attached that you let the dog drag when he is working off leash and far away from you. I also use treats. Here I'm showing how you hold the leash when you're riding with the horse. For this part of our experiment, we're going to bring Willie out to the horse for the very first time. He's met the horses, but he's never followed the horse on a leash. For this, we're going to use Taffy, the little paint pony. He's shorter to the ground, and he's much better with dogs than my bigger horse. As you can see, Willie's leash training has paid off for his first time out working with a moving horse. First, he becomes comfortable with the horse, and then he is told to heel. To begin with, you may use the command heel because the dog is familiar with what it means. Later, you may wish to change to the command hawk. The reason I change to the word hawk is because I hope to continue ground training to earn a CD or maybe a CDX, and I don't want to confuse the dog. Heel means the perfect AKC position at my side, and hawk means a safe distance from a moving horse. Some people use the command coach because it sounds different than any other command. To be in the correct hawk position, the dog may be anywhere within one horse length from the horse on either side or behind, as long as the dog does not get in front of the horse's nose. You may train the dog to hawk on either side. The hawk command should be repeated several times in the beginning. Gentle corrections can accompany forging or lagging, but lavish praise should be the first priority. When the dog forges, correct with the leash, and then praise immediately for the correct position, repeating the command. Here I've started Willie in figure eights so that he gets used to the movement of the horse. This forces the dog to watch where the horse is going and hopefully to be smart enough not to be stepped on by this great big dog. Watch your dog carefully. It's your job to make sure that the horse does not step on him. Again, it helps to have a short horse. 
Now the dog has met the horse, but more groundwork is needed. You can practice basic obedience at home and away from home in a place such as a park. It's important to practice away from home so the dog learns to obey even when there are distractions and when he's at a new place. Here I'm practicing a basic stay exercise, but I'm moving around the dog just as a horse might move around. Whistling, making some extra noises to help the dog learn he must stay even with distractions. Again, lots of praise. Willie is wearing a tab, a short piece of doubled up leather that I slip through his collar. When he lags, he's corrected with the tab. That was an example of a voice correction. That's something you will use a lot from the horse, but you have to do your groundwork first. Willie, come! These are random recalls with a long line. The dog wears the long, light line so that he can be corrected if he needs to be. He's allowed to run loose, and instead of a formal recall where he's sitting, he's told to come when he is out sniffing around. This would be similar to what you'll do on horseback. Not too far. There I used to command not too far and give a gentle correction. The dog is not asked to come back to a sit, but when I say not too far, that means he's getting too far. I practice this at home on the long line first. Then I use it on the horse as an informal recall. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Willie takes the daily trip with me to the stables to feed and care for the horses. Willie is always on leash and soon becomes accustomed to the horses and their mannerisms. Here Willie is tied to a post while the horseshoer is shoeing horses. Once the dog is fairly reliable off leash on the ground, you'll be ready to try the dog with a horse at an open field. Again, you notice Willie is wearing the leash. The other dog, Poochie, has already been trained for road trialing, so she is off leash. Here we see Willie on his second time with Handler on horseback. The dog should wear a leash and whatever collar he is controlled with on the ground. If the horse is a good horse and will stand still while you mount, put the dog on a stay while you mount up. For safety, be certain to place the dog as far away from the horse as the leash will allow. Once mounted, repeat the command to hawk and ride the horse in a straight line or in large circles. Use the leash to guide the dog, repeating the command often. Correct with a collar correction when the dog forges or lags. And praise wildly for the proper hawk position. For the very shy dog that lags behind, correct gently and praise lavishly. If the, if the dog is very shy and drags back, be prepared to drop the leash in an emergency. In this case, you would need to do more groundwork to accustom the dog to the horses. As you can see, Willie sometimes forges, and I use my leg to swing in front of his face to keep him back. Here I've dropped the leash to let Willie try out just dragging the leash. The regulations define the correct hawk position as within one horse length of the horse, either on either side.